Sam Crowder to kick it off for Longview on the near side is Irving Anderson and uh, Irvin Anderson and on the far side is Bryant Jackson. <coughs> Twenty eight nothing Longview. We start the second half and Crowder's got it teed up. We wait on the whistle. Here's Crowder with a kick and we're underway in the second half. This one's going to go to Anderson at the seven-yard line. Back he comes up the field. Longview chases and they've got him at the 17. Well, Brent. Devontae Grant chased and got him at the 17. And the ball was kicked to the left side and they were setting the wall up on a kick return against Longview to the right side. They just are not fast enough to do that and I don't think anybody is kickoffs. You cannot run laterally and make plays. No, you sure cannot, John. You said that for years. You've got to go up the field. Sulphur Springs, first and ten from the 18-yard line. Double wide receiver set. <clears throat> Lee. They're going to run it up the middle to the tailback. And he got it across the 25 to the, uh, tw- uh, to the 24-yard line. And he got six yards on first down. The carry was Devian Hill. He only had two carries in in the first half, and it may be something they go back to in the second half is to try to run the ball more, eat some of this clock up. They give it to Hill again. Around the corner he goes. He's got some room to run. He's got a first down. He's out of bounds at the 36-yard line. So it's first and 10 Sulphur Springs from the 36. 11.25 to go in the third quarter. It's a 28 to nothing Longview lead. So Hill with two straight carries. 170-pound senior running back. Spread formation. Bunch receivers to the near side of the field and one to the far side. And Lee is going to step up and throw, and it's incomplete. Knocked away by Alante Darden. Well, the intended receiver out there was uh, uh, McQueen, and not Darden made a good play. Good break on the ball, knocked it down. Darren Brown made the uh, had the pressure on. It's second down and 10 from the 36. And they're going to run the draw play. Well, no, I don't know what they did there. They pitched it twice, and that's on the ground, and I think Longview's got it. What kind of play was that, John? I think it actually was an option play, Brent, and uh, he tried to pitch the ball way on the sideline, and the fumble occurred. I I guess that's what that is. I I don't really know. I thought they pitched it twice. Surely I didn't see that wrong, but I think I may have. What happened was the wide receiver... At the line of scrimmage, just backed up, and so when when uh, Lee got out there, he decided to pitch it to him. So I don't know if that's a hard play or a made up play. Or B. Up Johnson got it at the 36 yard line, first down and ten. Long view from the eye, play action pass. They're going to lob this one to Keelan Shaw in the flat at the 20. He's at the 10 and knocked out of bounds. But he stepped out of bounds at the 12 yard line. So first and ten, Long View Suffer Springs 12. Nice throw and catch that time. Shaw with the pass out of the backfield. They got it to the 12-yard line. First down and 10 Longview. 11.02 to go in the fir- in the third quarter. 28 to nothing Longview leads. First down and 10. First down and 10 is Suffer Springs 12-yard line. Under center is Aaron Johnson. They give it to Shaw. Uh, Left tackle. Oh, touchdown. No, I said his knee touched down to one yard line. But I tell you, Brent, Tristan, uh, 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 Bryce Redmond and uh, Tevin Ratliff just completely annihilated the right side of the defensive line for them. I mean, it's, it's like they just moved them completely out of the way. Longview's at the one-yard line with 10.41 to go in the third quarter. It's 28 to nothing, Longview. Sulphur Springs, Longview at Sulphur Springs, one-yard line. First down and goal. There's Anthony. Touchdown. Right up the middle. It is 34 to nothing with 10.23 to go in the third quarter. I'm going back to that Sulphur Springs play just a minute. They ran an option play of some kind, but he pitched it to a, a player who was just standing there, John. 
Well, what it was, the guy was a wide receiver, and he just dropped back off the line of scrimmage for some reason, and I wow. think Lee just got over there and saw him and just pitched it. I, I, oh, man. I don't believe that there's any way that, that play was designed the way it ended up. Here's a kick up by Jenkins. It's up and good. It's 35 to nothing. Longview with 10.23 to go. Third quarter back on 104.1 The Ranch in one minute. One. Well, welcome back. It's ten. It's thirty-five. Nothing. Longview. Yeah, Sulphur Springs fumbled on their first possession of the second half. Longview gets it at thirty-six yard line. They run a three, three plays uh, to get the score. The touchdown was a one-yard run by Dakota Anthony. That's his second of the night, and Longview leads uh, thirty-five nothing. And we've got ten twenty-three to play here in the third quarter. So Longview is uh, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, Handle Suffer Springs, the number one or number four ranked team in four eight. Here's Crowder with a kick. It's over the head of the return man. Eddie McGee's got him at the eight yard line. Oh, Eddie McGee with a good play on the kickoff team, John. Yep, he did. And the, the ball uh, was kicked short. It bounced, and then uh, their return man, uh, Tristan Crook, tried to retreat and go to the sideline. When he did, Addison McGee was all over him. and Sulphur Springs going to start on their own 10-yard line. First down and 10, Sulphur Springs from their 10-yard line. 10-30, I mean 10-17 to go in the third quarter. Longview with a 35 to nothing lead. Four wide receiver set for Sulphur Springs. They're going to run the tailback, and he takes off around the corner. And Joe Brown's going to get there. Sulphur Springs going to get a penalty. Yeah, that's going to be a holding call as uh, the hold occurred out there on Anthony Wiley and the call is uh, yep that's going to be holding and when it goes also it goes against their right tackle uh, Bo Carpenter who's uh, rugby committed to Tech this is going to be a five yard or a, a half a distance to the goal line penalty it's going to be first down and 15 10.09 to go in the Third quarter, 35 nothing Longview. Supper Springs back at their own five yard line. Colton Lee going to give the ball to the tailback again. Up the field he comes. He's got some room to run. He got a first down out to the 21 yard line. Well, Devian Hill got room to run and made a first down, so it's a first and 10 Supper Springs out to the 21. You know, Brent, he's got some quickness. It makes you wonder why they didn't run him some in the first half. He had two uh-huh. carries for four yards. I mean. Here's Lee again. They're going to give it again to the tailback. He's got room again. He's got room up to the 35 or 6-yard line. Well, they knocked all of you out of there that time. And rolled it up to the 36. So it's a first down for Sulphur Springs at the 36. 9.49 to go in the third quarter. It's a 35 nothing Longview lead. Sulphur Springs has worked it all the way out to their 36-yard line. Same offensive play, a sweep. And again, Branson Rogers makes the tackle. It's a six-yard gain. It's going to be second down and four out to the 42. Same sweep to the far, the far side of the field. Yeah, man. Damian Hill has gotten uh, picked up uh, 59 yards on the night. He had only four in the first half. Thomas Jones in, and Diop Johnson will come out. There's a sweep played. He got him at the 39. Thanks, old boy. I think Longview's going to get a penalty for illegal substitution. And it's going to be a five-yard penalty and a first down for Suffer Springs out to their 47. 9-18 to go third quarter. It's a 35-0 Longview lead. Suffer Springs football at their own 47-yard line. First down and 10. And they're going to run the tail back again. This time he's tackled at the 49, a three-yard gain. It's going to be second down and seven. That was Davian Hill on the carry, and the stop was made 